It's like one of those things that's kind of like fun to pull out and use because, you know, it's got a tassel. What's up lovelies? It's your girl RJ. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, hi, hello. If you've been here before, um, you've probably been wondering where I've been and I'm pretty sure I've made this speech before so I'm just going to let you guys know I'm sorry that there haven't been regular uploads on the YouTube channel. I will say that I do post pretty much six days a week over on my Instagram channel. So definitely check me out there to get um, reviews, um, quick videos, and just some uh, content, <laughs> good old content there. Um, now we are gonna try for a slightly more regular schedule of right now just two videos a month on the channel. Um, I do know besides the one I'm doing today, I will have at least one more and I'll talk about that a bit more in just a minute. Um, but I do hope that you will subscribe. I hope that you'll click that notification bell so you know when I do upload. And um, that's enough for that intro. Let's go into talking about why we're doing this video today, all right? Um, so if you are familiar with Beautylish, you know that they do um, a lucky bag every year. That's kind of the first time I'd ever heard of it. Basically, it's kind of a Japanese New Year tradition um, where you get some sort of, I guess, bag with items of good fortune and wealth and things such as that. Um, but some companies, such as Beautylish and today's uh, Juno & Co, have put together beauty lucky bags. So this is something that they sell only um, one time a year. Um, you purchase it and then you get some goodies. So um, I just recently heard of Juno & Co. I don't know if it's a company that's been around um, for a long time, but I do know I just recently picked up some of their sponges and I had spoke about them on my Instagram and then I got an email saying that they were doing a lucky bag this year. Um, it was $25 for up to $100 worth of um, products. So I decided to go ahead and order it and give it a try and the box came in. I haven't even opened it up yet. It's still sealed. Um, so I thought we would do a little unboxing. So let's get into it. So like I said, this is my first time getting this. Um, I haven't really seen anything up online about it. Um, so I don't know how many people participated, um, but yeah, let's check it out. So this is just my receipt. Um, it was $25, $100 up to $100 value. And then you could pick um, skin complexion. Uh, so I don't know if there's going to be like concealers or foundations in here, but I picked tan olive. Um, so we shall see. So um, no special wrapping. Looks like everything is just thrown inside the box. A little bit of bubble wrap. So I'm just going to, it does look like a lot of stuff though. Um, so I'm just gonna grab the first thing and we'll go from there. So, um, so first up is actually um, something I already own because that's how I found out about Juno & Co um, is their microfiber sponges. Um, I bought a little four pack of them not too long ago. I've just started using them. Still on the fence about it, um, but here's another one. So we got that. Next up is, looks like another Juno & Co sponge. This one is like a, different shape though. This one out. Okay, so this is just like a white spongy sponge. It's very dense. Um, it's an interesting shape. I mean, I can see where this would work really good to get into the inner corners and things like that. So I will definitely try it out. Next up we have, oh, some lashes. So these are Mad Love Lashes says it's number 702 and they're kind of like on a little stick like a lollipop um looks like we have another thing of lashes this is a different style these are also mad love and this is style h5 it looks like both of these have a clear band on them oh here's these maybe i should have stayed zoomed in okay next up we have I don't know what this is, so let's open it up and see. So it's got a little pink tassel. It's like a gem. Is it like a keychain? Oh, it does open. Oh, it's a lipstick. That's kind of cool. It's a very pretty red color. Let's give it a swatch. Oh, I like that. So it looks like kind of a... Um, Slightly sheer formula. I did about three swipes to build it up. Um, I would say it's got a creamy kind of sheen. There's no information on it, um, but there it is there. That's cool. It's very fancy packaging. 
It's like one of those things that's kind of like fun to pull out and use because, you know, it's got a tassel. Up, we have LA Girl Pro Face HD High Definition Matte Pressed Powder. This is in what shade? Buff, I guess, is the shade. Um, if it's just a pressed powder, it says long lasting oil controlling powder, mattifying finish for a radiant look, helps cover blemishes and imperfections. I think I could definitely use this. Let me take it out as a setting powder. Um, it may be a little light for me. I wasn't sure on what to pick for the colors um, because after, what did I get? I got tan olive and then there was like deep dark and I find sometimes the deep dark, was there a medium? I probably should have done medium. I'm kind of somewhere in between um, the two. But honestly, most of the time I'd rather go lighter than darker. I feel like it's easier to kind of darken things up than it is to lighten them up. I don't know, maybe that's just me. So it is a little light, but if it's just like a pressed powder, um, that should be fine. I know like the one I use from ColourPop is, um, you know, lighter than my skin tone, but it works. Next up, we have another item from LA Girl. This is a strobe light strobing powder. And strobing powder in the color Watt, number 40 Watt. And, oh, it is sealed. Everything is sealed up. All right, finally got that open. Let's take a look. So it's really pretty. Um, I like shimmery brushes, <laughs> shimmery blushes. So I almost feel because it's such a peachy pinky tone that I would wear it for that. Um, I don't know, this is pretty illuminating. I think I might just stick as a blush topper maybe a highlight it's like there's quite a bit of stuff still in here I only saw like two people post um, about it and both of them said they only got like four items so so far we've got one two three four five six seven and there's still quite a few in here so I'm not sure what that was about but we're doing good okay what is this next item this is a Party Queen Waterproof Long Lasting Coal Eye Pencil. And it's probably just in black, I'm assuming. Doesn't seem to say. Let's open it up. Okay, so this says Aqua Eyes. And it actually looks like it's a brown. Let's see. Yep, it is like a gel brown. Which is actually perfect timing because I don't have like a brown brown eyeliner. So there we go. Next up we have... Focalure Matte Lip Crayon in the shade 20 Smoky Topaz. I mean, I love that everything is sealed because obviously you know it's like new, but I'm looking to open. filming in the living room with my dog so there's probably a lot of sound from them so there's the tube and then it's a very deep like burgundy shade yeah it's like a berry burgundy color you can see it right there um this is interesting though I mean it is a twist up tube it's a little crayon it's kind of cute Okay, so I went ahead and took everything else out of the, like, packaging. So it looks like we actually got two more of those um, lip crayons. This one is number 17, Studded Kiss. And this one is number 90, Rose Taupe. So let's take them out of the box and see what they look like. So this is the Studded Kiss, which is number 17. It's definitely a lighter shade. Um, more of a, still looks like a berry, but maybe a more mobby berry. Yep. And then, ooh, I like this one. This is number, what did I say it was? Nine, Rose Taupe. It's definitely a brown shade, which I have really been digging lately. 
So there's both of those right there. And okay, so we still have four more items. Next up is another item from that Party Queen brand. This is, and I don't know if this is like um, Juno & Co's own line or just um, a brand they carry, um, but this is the Party Queen Artist Shadow Nine Artist, yeah, Nine Artist Shadow Palette. And is there a palette name? Looks like maybe it's just number five. And it's just a really neutral palette. I don't think any of them are broken, but there's a lot of just powder in here. These are pretty light shades. Um, for me, these would be kind of like, well, the matte shades would mostly just be base shades. And then the ones that are like shimmery look more like brow bone highlights and things like that. Let's swatch a couple. The pans are kind of small, so not too bad. The metallic. Okay. A little bit of payoff. I feel like the other shades are kind of light. Yeah, this one must be like a topper shade because it's got a little glitter but hardly any color to it. So I don't know if you'll be able to see those at all. They're right here. We have a couple little brushes. The first is a little Juno and Co. like Kabuki brush. Um, I guess this is what this would be called. Ooh, it's actually pretty soft. I just got a brush kind of similar to this um, in my Target box, I think. It was an e.l.f. brush. I don't really use things like this too much. Um, I know I did just touch it, but I may just pass it on to a friend. And then the last one, while I will probably never use it, I think it's adorable um, and super cute. It's one of those little like fish tail mermaid brushes. Um, although this could probably, ooh, no, I was going to say maybe it could be used for like contour blush, but these bristles are like really cheap, um, but it's cute. Like it's one of those things I would just like put on my beauty counter vanity. Yeah. Vanity. Um, just as like a little display item. So that's cute. And then lastly, we have a Mad Love Summer Nights, and this is a Juno & Co brand, and it's a 12 shade eyeshadow palette. So we got two eyeshadow palettes, it's pretty cool. Let's take a look. No, the packaging is like black and white, so I'm like, but it's called Summer Nights, so I'm not sure what to expect with these colors. Oh, that is not at all what I expected. So, I can take this protective film out. It's got a mirror on the inside, and then it's got a very interesting combination of colors, um, because not only do we have this like really bright blue and purple, but then there's just some really base neutrals. Um, it does look like the, I would say the purple looks almost like a pressed glitter, but they may just be shimmer shades. Um, the other ones, so there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six mattes, including a black called Late Night, and then we've got five, what I would say, shimmer shades, and then I do think this purple is a pressed glitter, um, or at least a more metallic-y um, shade, but yeah, I want to swatch all of these. Okay, so I was wiping off the other swatches I did, and I don't know if you can see, but that eyeliner is still there, um, so it took a little bit of scrubbing to get it off. So that actually is a good sign to me because if a eyeliner is hard to wipe off, then hopefully it will stay put, especially like in your waterline. Okay. Okay. So let's just talk about what we got again really quick. And then at the end, I'll put in all these swatches, but we got three lips. We got a pressed powder, a highlighter, uh, two little brushes. We got a gel eyeliner. I'm sorry, we got four lips because we got this little fancy one here. Um, then we got two sponges, two sets of eyelashes, and then two palettes, two eyeshadow palettes. Is that everything? So I'll have to go to their website to get the prices for of these items, um, just off the top of my head, I don't know what any of them cost other than like this one sponge, and I think that's $6. Other than that, I am not sure. Um, I have to say though, I'm really pleased with everything I received. Like I said, I'd only seen like one review of someone saying that they got like four items. 
Um, I don't know if that's true or not. I've got 14 items and I've got to believe, I mean, it's definitely over the $25 value of what I paid for the box. Um, I mean, I can tell that just by looking at it. So overall, I really like it. I think if I was to do it again, I would probably pick a, um, the next skin tone up. I think that was kind of my debate. Um, oh, another thing I just wanted to mention, I will have, like I said, definitely another video this month because I did also pick up two of the Beautylish Lucky Bags. Um, I tried to get the Deluxe Lucky Bag, um, but it sold out in like, I don't know, it had to be minutes because I got into the site, I put it into my cart, I went to check out, but I had not ordered anything from Beautylish since I moved, and in the time it took me to update my address, it was sold out. So instead, I got one of the um, just regular Lucky Bags, and then this year they had a Jeffree Star Cosmetics Lucky lucky bag as well um or lucky box i guess um but i got that one so i do have both of those coming i think they're not set to ship actually i said i'll have two videos up this month but i don't think they're set to ship until towards the end of the month so if i have it before the end of january i will most definitely get that video up if not that will be february um yeah so let's take a look at some swatches okay so here is the la girl strobe light strobing powder Here is the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Pressed Powder. Here is the Party Queen Nine Pan Eyeshadow. So here we have swatches of all four of the lippies. The top three are the crayon and then the bottom one is the one that was in that like pinky tasseled container. Summer Nights palette. And then here are some swatches of some of the colors. So we have that black is late night, that kind of orangish shade is illis. Then that brownie shade is high ground. Kind of pinky one here is good girl then we have kind of hard to see but that kind of gold glittery is weekend then this other matte shade is bravo then here in the all right um so then that kind of greenish yellow is woke and the blue is skywalker okay so i just did a quick swatch of it here and that color is gorgeous all right guys first video of 2019 is officially wrapped uh, that is everything that I got in my Juno and Co uh, lucky bag if you picked one up I would love to know what you guys got in yours if you had a different skin tone shade that you selected did you get any same of the same items I got uh, or did you get something completely different definitely share with me below in the comments um, as always, I love making these videos. I hope you guys love watching. Also, don't forget to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. It's all XOXO Rajel, just like it is here. Uh, and until next time, bye guys!